And there's one more thing about this whole app.useroutes I want to show you that can help us drive our code even further. Right now, if we look at comics.js, all of our routes start with slash comics, slash comics, slash comics, slash comics, slash comics, slash new, slash comics, slash ID, but they all have that slash comics at the beginning. That's not very dry because we are repeating that slash comics all over the place. So what Express Router allows you to do is you can add a prefix to all of these. And the way you do that is you simply add a string as the first argument with that prefix. So slash comics right there. And now what it will do is it will append this to the front or prepend this to the front of any time of any routes that we put in here. So inside of here, we just go to slash new or slash ID or just slash in this case, just slash in that case. Well, that's not a huge deal, but it does make our life a little bit easier. And it's especially nice whenever you, if you ever want to change the URLs um, of your, your um, program. So like, let's say instead of slash comics, we wanted to make it slash comic books. We wouldn't have to come into this file and update every single route. We would just have to change this one string right here. So let's go ahead and save this and run it and make sure it actually works like it's supposed to. That restarted. Yeah. Refresh. There we go. Works like a charm. Click on that one. There we go. Still works. We can do the exact same thing with comments. So let's go into comments.js and look what it's always prefaced with. It's always prefaced with slash comments, slash ID, slash comment. So we can cut that out, and just leave the slash comment, or comments rather, save that, come over here and paste that into here. I'll go ahead and let you know this is not going to work like we want it to on the very first time. The reason for that is because this ID is not going to be passed on, so we have to fix that. But let's just demonstrate that real quick. Let's refresh, go in here and try and get to slash comments slash new. Now it looks like it's going to work. It's, it looks like it is, but if we look at our thing here, we can look at the, the form and the hidden, you'll notice, has no value. There's no value on this form because it's not getting this ID. Because the way this, this value is populated is this ID is passed to that form, but the val there's no value there. So if we go ahead and submit this, we'll get an error, which is expected because it's not getting that ID. So in order to fix this, we have to go into our comments file up here where we first import router. We can pass it option. There's a lot of different options you can pass router, and you can look that up in the express documentation. But for this one, we need to do an option called merge params, and it needs to be set to true. And that does just what it sounds like it does. It merges the parameters from both strings, from both this part of the URL into this part of the URL. So it merges those together. So now that we've saved that, let's go ahead and refresh this page. And let's look again at our value or action input type hidden value is actually populated now. So we can see that it has been passed along. And if I just put in a random username of just random gibberish and type in a bunch of stuff, submit my comment, cannot post to comics slash ID slash comments. I know what I did. I know what I did. I didn't remove that. That's the problem. I did my route wrong. So router.post just goes to the slash. That was my fault, but I'm glad it happened because now I can demonstrate troubleshooting. There we go. So it was submitted in my terminal. I see that new thing. So I apologize for that, but, but I left it in. Obviously I could have cut it out, but I left it in because again, I'm not perfect. I make these type of typo mistakes all the time. Everybody does. Don't worry about it if you do as well. Oh, we forgot to do the main routes. Main routes are just going to be slash. So we can test that and make sure it works. It will, but just make sure it works. There we go. Landing page still works. And that is it for this video. In this video, we did several things all related to refactoring our routes into separate files. First, we created the routes directory and then added inside of it the three files that we're going to use to help kind of keep our routes separated by their type. Then we cut and paste our, um, all of our routes from our app.js into these separate files. At the top of those files, we imported express and then express router. For the comments one, we had to pass the option of merge params equals true. And this is a bug that if you forget to do this, is really difficult to troubleshoot. 
honestly, because you don't notice a problem until you hit the post route, but the problem actually exists on your um, git route, on your, your new comment page, because the problem exists right here, because the ID is not being passed in, but you'll, you won't see any problem unless you are inspecting your HTML until you hit the post route. So oftentimes what happens is people will forget that option, they'll see a problem with their post route, and they'll sit there and be thinking, why in the world is my thing not being created? What's this problem? They'll spend forever trying to double checking and triple checking this post route and Googling all about this post route before finally they realize, oh crap, it's because this is not being passed in. And then they, and then they remember, oh crap, I gotta do the merge params and so on and so forth. So some bugs, unfortunately, are like this. That's why it's important to read the documentation and things like that. We also talked about how in, whenever you're using the routes, you can preface them with um, a string well, that's a URL route, and then this will be prepended to the things inside of here. So inside of comment routes, we have all of this added to the front of each of these routes so that we don't have to type it in, in every single one of our um, routes inside of here. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.